how's it going? Sorry for the noise in the background. They're doing construction down the street. And I normally don't record at this hour of the day because there's so many cars on the main street over that way. But uh, anyway, Milo Yiannopoulos doesn't feel bad, or at least he doesn't show it anyway, in any way, shape, or form, that he feels bad for the ways that he's treated people, the things that he's said to people. He doesn't feel bad for bullying people. He doesn't seem to show that he feels bad at all for any of the terrible things that he's done to anyone. But his religion doesn't really have a problem with any of those things. Nope. Treating people poorly, bullying, punching down. Nope. None of those things are any sort of a problem. Just like they weren't a problem for Trump. Just like they weren't a problem for Rush Limbaugh. You know, the same Rush Limbaugh who used to have a segment he'd regularly run that's celebrating and mocking the deaths of people who died of AIDS. Those things aren't a problem for Gavin McGinnis. They're not a problem for the very worst of popular right-wing pundits and bullies and abusers. Nope, nope. The real problem is sex that isn't designated as being for procreation or drinking, having too liberal of a fashion sense or doing things that take you off the path to religious purity spiraling. And that, just by itself, as far as I'm concerned, is enough to view Abrahamic religion in a negative light. Now, you know, I shouldn't have to say this, because you should know this, but I'm, I'm not talking about everyone. Not all religious, Abrahamic religious people are this way. But the ones that matter, the ones with some of the loudest voices, the politicians, the pundits, you know, it, it matters at that point. Too many religious right-wingers who have a chance of swaying public opinion don't call out actual awful behavior. They instead focus on sex, drugs, someone's fashion sense, communism, look out, communism, or they focus on something that doesn't really matter. In fact, some religious right-wingers, at least, you know, Republicans here in the United States, celebrate awful behavior. They looked up to Rush Limbaugh. They look up to Trump. They look up to people like Milo Yiannopoulos. Yes, I get that religion works for some people. And if it works for you, great. But it doesn't work that great for everyone. Some people it really does a lot of damage to. Some people it utterly destroys. I get tired of the argument, well, it works for me and I don't treat people that way, so it's all good. Well, no, it's not all good. You know, again, there are people who it deeply hurts. And it obviously doesn't just hurt the people who profess it who probably shouldn't because their existence and their thinking clashes with it. It hurts other people. It hurts the people that they preach to. Now, when people are able to cherry pick all the positive things out of, like the Bible, you know, maybe not all of them, but they, they cherry pick a number of really positive things out of the Bible, then they can create a somewhat decent religion. You know, one that doesn't clash with science. One that isn't against any sort of social progress whatsoever. Or social change whatsoever. And you know what? There's a lot of people who do this. There's a lot of people who do essentially create their own religion. They cherry pick the good things out of their religious books. And that's cool. And I have no problem with those people. Heck, look at Unitarian Universalists. They're the Sufis of biblical religions. But those aren't the religions of politicians. That's not the religion of right-wing pundits. So yes, I have a problem with Abrahamic beliefs in general, or at least the religion in general. I don't have a problem with all the people who profess it. Not everyone who professes it does negative things with it. But most of my friends are not Abrahamic religious, especially my gay friends. It really doesn't make any sense whatsoever to stick with an Abrahamic religion if you're gay. Makes no fucking sense. Absolutely no fucking sense. And I, I honestly lose a little bit of respect for any LGBT person to continue to hold beliefs that go against your existence. You're supporting things that go against your interests. I have a lot of friends who are spiritual, but most of them are not Bible-based spiritual. They're not Abrahamic religious spiritual. 
I've got some friends that are, and they're pretty decent people, but most of them are not Abrahamic religious. Most of them tossed out the Bible long ago. In the United States, the Bible is the source for most anti-LGBT attitudes. The Bible is the source for most of the stricter attitudes towards gender roles. It is often the source for people's inability to empathize with people from different cultures, from radically different cultures. It's most often the source for not trusting scientific inquiry or scientific data. Unless, of course, it's talking about human biology and a very specific part of human biology and then, you know. But that's only because it supports your beliefs. Of course, you'll support science that supports your beliefs. But if it doesn't, you know, it's the main source for why so many people don't believe in climate change, don't believe in, in the theory of evolution, don't believe in a ton, a, a whole bunch of things that have been pretty much proven. I mean, I mean, even gravity isn't 100% proven, but, w but we've come up with models that can give us a pretty good idea, you know, of how it works. And maybe I didn't make this clear enough in my other videos. The number one reason why LGBT people end up killing themselves is Abrahamic religion. If you think for a moment I'm going to ignore that, you've got another thing coming. Look, we're never going to get rid of Abrahamic religion, but we can call it out. We can try to remove its insertion into the government. We can make sure we don't give excuses for bad things done in its name. And we can work to reduce the negative effects of it. But we're not going to get rid of it. And I think people's attempts to get rid of it are futile. I also think that going around treating people who are religious poorly just because they're religious, that's messed up. You can't be doing the same behavior you complain about on the other side. No. No, that's not right. If it's wrong for one side to do it, then it's wrong for the other side to do it. Guess I don't know what more to say. Thanks for watching.